on this episode of Lapeef Let's Talk. Take a sandwich. Yeah, but you can't. Wait, 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 wait. But you can't come in with the angry mode. Like, you got to be chill, honestly. Like, because it's a way to communicate with your chick without even saying anything. Like, you know, I can look at my chick or just move a type of certain type of way and she already know. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to say nothing. And so, you know, you got to kind of create a peace, like a calmness. Because if a chick feel like you're treating her like a little kid, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to get the results that you want. And so a lot of it is us. A lot of it is we. It's not just money. People think it's only money. Money is just a tool and a resource, but it doesn't make you a different person. You got to create the environment, you know what I'm saying, to where they actually want to be around us. And if you don't want to create that environment, they're not going to thrive because then they're going to just be doing stuff just to make sure that they don't get in trouble, just like a little kid, instead of doing things that actually make you happy. It's, a, it's just a completely different vibe that you got to create. Everything is taken care of. However, if you want to volunteer, if you want to do something, go work at Tiffany's on the weekend, you know, go that, ahead. But you don't have to smart. So set up the fit. I'm trying to tell you, set up the family where she doesn't have to work and can leverage and do something, but give her an opportunity to do something. Uh, uh, board, mind, what they say is the devil's playground. What's that saying? Yep. An idle, idle mind. mind. An idle, idle mind, mind is the devil's devil's right. There you go. Yep. Don't forget that they drank it. I don't even know what my flights are. I don't know. I'm where trying I'm to save you. Be, I don't know uh, nothing. JB Daddy, I, hold on, hold on. Let me just say this one thing. I'm trying to help you. I would say you was right until I seen these white guys at my job get their wives to bring in these fucking sandwiches that taste like goddamn God made them, <laughs> and it looked like it's a fucking artwork. And then I'm just saying, no, they is doing something. And I'm like this, and then I'll, I'll be up there looking like a fool, the only black dude that don't have a fucking a sandwich that was made by a culinary master. And I'm just like, what the fuck am I doing wrong? I need to maybe give me one of them white chicks. No, but oh, you be breaking oh, oh, up. Stop, stop. Let me finish. Be with oh, knees. What Stand they up. Is they hairy up. shit, and it tastes, it's crazy. I don't know what the fuck they put on it. It ain't no fucking mayonnaise. Whip. It ain't no damn regular old mayonnaise. I don't know what kind of meat it's it be. Bichon. Oh, stop. It ain't no Bichon. It's honey mustard. It's it's a little extra, but no, no, stop. No, I'm tired of you. Look, y'all let me finish. Well, maybe it's the pecorino cheese. Maybe okay. she's putting a little it's something extra in herself. It's, it's Hellman's. It's but JB, JB Daddy, you know it's Ray Poupon. It's Ray Poupon. Okay. Listen what I'm saying. And Sriracha. Oh, they ain't go with this nigga shit. <laughs> hey, sorry, Mr. Lee. But look, I'm telling you, like, it goes past that. They have nothing to worry about. And y'all, the typical black woman said, oh, itemize, lead the item time. No, no, it don't. Because yeah. that's what they do. <laughs> that, that's, that, that, I, I, I'm being honest with y'all. Logic, you know, I got a question. If, if a girl so makes you some chicken and rice, if a girl makes you some, if a girl makes you some chicken and rice, I bet you that kids. white man would love to try it, and he gonna try that chicken and rice and be like, "Fuck that sandwich! I want some chicken and rice." So stop. Bullshit. I'm gonna say this. Let me stop. just say this. Let me say this. Oh shit. That's why I see that's some typical old black woman shit that you just said. Yeah. Yeah. Girl, I want no fucking chicken and rice when they got crazy Damn, shit. Damn, Damn. You want a sandwich? Crazy shit. And a- the, the fucking like it be it, it look yeah, like we're gonna get a therapist you, on you the show. You want an Arby sandwich over chicken rice? You gotta be like what kind of sandwich is it? Is it like then a white shade people are rubbing off on you? The shit be no, on the side. No, no, no white bread. She probably is on white bread. It's a white bread. It don't be on no motherfucking white bread. It's on the black If you want to know, I'm gonna tell you. I know how that sandwich tastes, logic. I guarantee y'all all y'all can go over y'all refrigerator right now and y'all got some Wonder Bread. They don't use yeah, no real. fucking Wonder Bread. Like Panera Bread, Arby's. Come on. Real Listen, guys. man, this is what I know for sure. And I, and I believe this They're in my heart and I've always said it. I believe that all women are inherently the same. 
I do. I don't think that it has anything to do with whether you're black, white, uh, Hispanic, whatever. I think that all women want the same thing. And when you provide an environment in which a woman can thrive, she will absolutely take off and be the best asset, the greatest asset that you've ever had in your life. I honestly believe that. And I think that the bad rap, and I just did a uh, did a show the other day where a white guy was on there getting his nuts handed to him by his wife the other day. Literally, it just happened. And if you go online and maybe we just living in this bubble that we don't get outside of our comfort zone and see what the heck is going on in other cultures, all men and all women are fighting from all different cultures. It's not just us. It's not just black women. It's not none of that. People are trying to figure out what this thing is supposed to look like because what tradition tells us is different from the circumstances that they face in a day and their grandparents and their great grandparents lied to them and told them that this is the way you're supposed to be in a relationship and they didn't give them the game. And so people don't know how to successfully have a relationship. But if we're just putting it on one group of people, I don't think that that's an accurate depiction. I think that the same scenario exists across the board and women want the same thing. And if you provide them the room to be able to thrive, they will absolutely be the greatest asset that you ever had in your life. It's just it's, it's very simple. Can I ask Logic a question? Did you try the sandwich or did it just look good? I'm curious. Logic, the refrigerator. Hey, Logic, it's a yes or no. It's a yes or no. I just, I told you, I tasted hey, Logic. Oh, you I tasted it? it? What did it taste sub. like? It was a pub sub, wasn't it? No, I uh, thought it, maybe it was Panera Bread. Black women shit. I bet she can't make it. <laughs> Ask her next time hey, what meat she used. Good, okay, Look, don't front on Publix now. Oh no, I know. I worked in the yeah. biz for seven years. I know. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. H E B sandwiches be good. I worked at some fine dining restaurants. That's not. And you see this? Restaurant. They want to get purchase sandwiches, right? You see the no. tip of the woman you shit? Oh, I'm going to go. You know, we're just going to know where you're letting you know there are good things out there. Right. Oh, right. but no, hold on. Good yeah. thing there's good. Get oh, your white woman then. Damn. Oh, Y'all just say oh, all the time. But you can eat Becky's. Shit. If I'm giving you fucking nine to five to make a sandwich, God damn it, make a sandwich. Yeah, but you can't. Wait, 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 wait. But you can't come in with the angry mode. Like you gotta be chill, honestly. Like, cause it's a way to communicate with your chick without even saying anything. Like, you know, I can look at my chick or just move a type of certain type of way, and she already know. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gotta say nothing. And so, you know, you gotta kind of create a peace, like a calmness. Cause if a chick feel like you're treating her like a little kid, you know what I'm saying? You're not gonna get the results that you want. And so, a lot of it is us. A lot of it is we. It's not just money. People think it's only money. Money is just a tool and a resource, but it doesn't make you a different person. You got to create the environment, you know what I'm saying, to where they actually want to be around us. And if you don't want to create that environment, they're not going to thrive because then they're going to just be doing stuff just to make sure that they don't get in trouble, just like a little kid, instead of doing things that actually make you happy. It's, a, it's just a completely different vibe that you got to create.